Hi, everybody. Welcome to Pittsburgh. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabolski. The restaurants on Carson Street are hopping tonight here in Pittsburgh, a city that has had an embarrassment of riches for hockey. Back-to-back -back championships in different decades. Mario Lemieux and Yarmer Yager in one. Sidney Crosby and Evgeny Malkin in another. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. The Penguins start with possession as we are now underway. Quick pass to Gensel. Rips it. He scores! A quick goal here has the home crowd buzzing. They are, and you can tell the players are excited here with the early goal. You can expect the coaches to be telling them to keep pushing the pace on the road team. He's probably got about two seconds from the time that puck's delivered to find it. He can't see it, so he drops into the butterfly and hopes it hits him. Pittsburgh's got the crowd on their feet. They were just standing for the anthem moments ago. Sit down, stand back up. What a great start for them here early in the first period. Scored by number 87. Pittsburgh's got him along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Latang. Scores! A oh, good shot. I like the release, James. He really zips it past the goalie. Hits the pipe. He gets a nice bounce and it's in the net. Two goals in 50 seconds. So quickly on the board. Wow, insane how quick that was. Bang, bang. Yeah, the defending team just couldn't put a stake in the ground. They couldn't stop them. Lots of time left in this period. Pittsburgh's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. Boston's got the puck against the boards. Oh, and he'll be shaking his head on that as they were so close. Moves the puck to Gensel. Here's a chance. From off the boards, takes the feed inside the zone. Denies him in front. The Penguins have been the better team to this point. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Pittsburgh's got possession here in the offensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. Moves it to Cahoon. Carries it across the line. The Bruins have it against the wall. Latang's lugging the puck. With some momentum driving towards the net. Krejci's got the puck and forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Bjunstad's got it in the offensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Pedersen. Takes the feed. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Coyle's swooping in on the attack. Centered out in front and a smart heads up read to come up with the puck. Pittsburgh's been in the right position all... That's three consecutive goals! Now the goalie keeps looking over to the coach saying, why am I still in here? Three straight for them. They tell you it doesn't have to hit the back of the net. It's just got to get over the goal line for it to count. That one does. The goalie had a big chunk of it. Just not enough. been the better team here in this first period and as a result they've got a big lead McCann's won it and now it's grabbed by Pedersen Boston's got the puck here in the open ice great pass from the left wing up the middle now quick feed to Richie Richie's got it in the corner and he slides it quickly to Nordstrom tape to tape feed on the blue line can't get it to go here's a short pass to Chara hammers it on net and too much traffic in front blocks that one. It's a two on one. That's off a stick. Boston's got the puck along the boards. Moves it to Nordstrom. Dumps it in. Pittsburgh's got the puck behind the net. Feeds the puck to McCann. 
And we've got a two-on-one. And that one's broken up. And he slides it quickly to Heinen. With authority. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. On the attack along the boards. From the blue line. And that's blocked. Point-to-point -point pass. Turns it aside. There's the whistle stopping play. Penalty coming up here. That essentially a pick on that interference? It is a little late to the play, and the official's right on it. Man advantage unit is set. And so they'll get their first power play of the evening. At the very least, you want to make sure you get pucks to the net, win some puck battles so you retrieve the puck. You just do not want on your first power play to have a poor one because that can leak into subsequent power plays as the game goes on. Quick pass to Bumstad. Great stick work with the steal. Sends it in on the attack. Slides it diagonally to Cahoon. Cahoon scut it against the boards. There's the physical side. And makes the save. Pittsburgh's offense has been on fire to start this one and still lots of time left in the first. And a solid job tying up his opponent. And manages to clear the zone. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Rust's carrying it ahead. Puts it to the front of the net. He scores! Now the power play comes through. They move the puck nicely. And they're able to capitalize on the extra man. This was the best place to shoot on a goaltender as they're trying to cover the entire net. Sometimes they get a little slow closing off the five hole. Pittsburgh's taken full advantage of their scoring opportunities with a comfortable lead here in the first. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Grabbed along the board by Galchenyuk. Takes it across the blue line. Nice feed from the boards. Here's a blast. Oh, what a stop. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Now a quick pass to McAvoy. And a great save. Really good puck control by the goalie as he gets it out of danger. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Let's it fly! Whoa. Scores! His second of the game! Well, he's been on it tonight. Really good skating legs. He's finished off a couple of plays, too. Ah, uh, the old standby. Low stick. The goalie beaten clean here. He can't catch it. offense has been shining brightly so far in this first period. Crosby's won the draw. Moves it quickly over to Gensel. Crosby's got it along the wing. Quick shot blocked in traffic. Moves it over to Miller. Miller's got it across the line. Centering pass gets in front of it. Picked up along the wall by Ricola. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Quick feed to Crosby. And it's a quick pass to Crosby. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Shuts him down. Well, that'll do it for period number one and a chance for both teams to kind of get a refresh here. Don't forget, fans, if you're here with somebody celebrating a birthday tonight, go to our guest services group. Second period still to come. We'll take a quick pause and be right back with more action.
Both teams are back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway. A one-sided affair after the first 20 minutes. Here we go for period number two. Ray, we've already got 20 minutes under our belt here. What are your thoughts of this one so far? He scores! Sidney Crosby sent the kid! He's tight to the net. He doesn't have much time. And that snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. All right, we're going to get a goalie change here. He can't get over to the bench quick enough. Now he can get rid of that mask, throw in a ball hat, wrap a towel around his neck, and try and relax. This has been a rotten night for him. The Penguins have been the busier team offensively tonight. They've dominated in their own end, haven't given up anything, and scored almost at will at the other. Here's a short pass to Latang. They've got numbers. And now he moves it quickly to Latang. Takes the pass. Lays out to block the shot. Can't get it to go. Boston's got the puck along the wall. The Bruins take over on possession. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Stopped by the goaltender. Quick feed to Malkin. Here they are on the attack. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Right to the middle. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. A chance from the slot. He scores! Evgeny Malkin! He doesn't miss too many, James. He leads his team in goals for a reason. Pittsburgh's been dominant tonight as they make their way back to center. They have scored almost at will, in particular here in this second period. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Krejci's got it on the offensive end. Here he is from the slot, and it's in! He scores! Gets his own rebound and makes it count! Nice play to follow his shot. He gets the initial shot, follows it in tight, and is able to beat the goaltender with his own rebound. Boston's been down and out all game long, but as they get back to center, they finally found a positive. They feel like they're off the mat a little bit here, James. They've got a goal, although they're trailing by a large margin. At least that's some direction to follow. Here's an odd man rush. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Taken by Krejci. Moves it to DeBrusque. Pittsburgh's regained possession of the puck. Gets the puck back onto a stick. Shoots it off target. Boston's got the puck along the boards. DeBrusque's got it into offensive territory. Quick pass to Carlo. Now he slides it up to Richie. Moves the puck. Wrists one. Stones him in front. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Into the offensive end now. He's got two goals already. If he can find a way to get a third, he's going to end up with a selection of hats in his stall after the game. I've had those. You look at the hats. Some of them are great. Others look like they've been worn for about 15 years. They're gross. Grabs the puck in the corner. Whoa. Scores! Quick blast, no chance! Goaltender's playing the percentages here, James. He drops into the butterfly, but he leaves the top of the net open. Gets beat up over the stick side. The Bruins needed that one as they get back to center ice. They need a lot more than that. It's really been a poor performance by them so far. Bruins 
Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Boston's got it from behind the net. Just wide. They say it's a game of inches, James. If that puck is a couple of inches to the side, that hits the post and goes in. Feeds it over to Corelli. Move to the middle, and that's a great read to pick off the pass. The Penguins go to work on offense. Moves it quickly over to Ricola. Nice pass. Carries it in. Move to the middle. Let's the wrister fly. And that one's turned away. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Laying out on the play. Beautiful defensive effort. That was a great shot, but an even better save. Directs it on over to Aston Reese. Puts it up front. Oh, what a hit. You could almost see that coming. The defensive player had the lane, and he just runs him over with the stop. It's been a great night for him. He's got two goals already, but you know he'd love to pull a hat trick out of him, see if he can get a third one. Is the third the easiest or the hardest? Oh, it's the hardest for sure. You, who knows if you're going to get another, another chance in a game. Right out in front, and that's broken up. Here they come on the attack. Fires it. That's his second. Their line has played really well, James. I like the way they moved the puck, and finally they're rewarded again. He's got them both. He makes a great play on the net. He's been doing it all season long. That's why he leads this team in goals. Refused to let up that chokehold here in the late stages of this second period. Total control of the hockey game from the beginning, and they have piled it on here in the middle frame. They've got the defense outnumbered. Boston's got control of the puck. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Angles it over to Pasternak. Denied by the blocker. Away from harm's way. That's a good save. On the doorstep, and he comes up with it. He can get rid of the puck in a hurry. I think that's one of the reasons he's in the top 10 in goals in this league. He doesn't need many chances. Pittsburgh's got to be happy with where their game is at so far tonight as they continue to lead big here late in the second. Through center along the wing. And he slides it quickly to Coyle. Receives the pass. Maintains possession. Oh, what a glove save! Pittsburgh's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Quick feed to Dumoulin. Excellent stick work on the play. Hard sounds bringing the second period to an end. Hey, hockey fans, follow the team all season long on the radio for every minute of play-by-play -play action, both home and away. Listen to the online simulcast at home or on your smartphone. Big third period still to come. We'll get ready for it. Hope you'll join us. to this point. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? Pittsburgh's able to see the finish line now here into the third period with a comfortable lead. Just don't start giving away chances. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. His ability to create in several different ways makes him tough to handle. It's probably why he's in the top of the league in points. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. 
McAvoy's gaining momentum. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Just wide! Into the offensive zone. Takes a shot. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck in his chest. Gensel's trying to brace himself. He knows the hit's coming, but man, does he get level. The Penguins have built themselves up a comfortable lead here in this third period. Bergeron's won it off the faceoff. Boston's got it in their own zone. Puck grabbed by Bergeron. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Boston's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Bergeron. Here's a chance right in the slot. Puck picked up by Cahoon. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Moved out in front. And that's picked off. And he slides it quickly to Coyle. Here's a chance. And the puck skips away after that move. Oh, he's trying to dangle there, but he loses the puck. Now he's got to chase it back. A chance on goal. Blocker save. Like that save as he was able to deflect it to the corner. The Bruins grab possession to the puck. Quick pass over to Coyle. Slides the puck near the front of the net. And now it's over to Krug. Makes the save. Tries to get the puck to Cahoon. Shot and makes the save. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Passes it over to DeBrusque. With possession along the wall. Moves it to Ritchie. Puck scooped up by Krejci. Slides the puck over. Now a quick pass to Carlo. Takes a slap shot from the point, and that's blocked away. Oh, so close. Close enough that that's just a couple inches away from being a goal. Laying the body. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. Slides the puck over to DeBrusque. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Over the line they come. Boston's got the puck in their own end. Along the half wall with the puck. Move to the middle, and that's taken by the defense. McCann's got the puck along the wing. Moves the puck along the half wall, and that goes off a player in front. Boston's got the puck. Sends a pass over. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Aston Reese has the puck against the half wall. Here's a shot! Stopped by the goaltender. Handles the pass from his goalie. Chara's picking up momentum through center. Let's the wrister go. Turns it away. Handles the pass at center. Moves it around along the half wall. Puts it on net. The Bruins have it from their own end. And it's a quick pass to Marshawn. Centering pass, and that one's broken up. Carries it across the line. Here's the pass, and that one's broken up. Icing the call will stretch this one out just a little longer. Yeah, James, the only thing this whistle's good for is I'm starting to pack up my briefcase to get out of here. Pittsburgh's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead a big time late in this third period. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Nearing the final 60 seconds in this one. And now it's grabbed by Bergeron. Taken along the wall by Bergeron. And it's off the iron! Denied by the goaltender. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Pittsburgh's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. Backus has won the draw. Takes the feed. And that's picked off in front. And now he moves it quickly to Gensel. Moves right to the middle. He scores! There's the hat trick, and here come the hats. Man, it is loud in here. The guys jumped up on the bench as soon as that third goal went into the net. Not much room over on the stick side, but he... Makes a perfect shot, the goalie beaten low there. Well, this play's still 
bus and they finally got the ice clear of all the hats. How hard is it to score in the first place, Ray? Well, the other guys are trying pretty hard, so it's not, not very easy to score. But to have a night where it all goes right, you remember these. What a moment. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess. But you already know at this point you're going to sit down. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Beautiful glove stop on that one. Feeds the puck to Moore. Heinen's got it along the boards. On the attack along the boards. Hammers one. And a beautiful stop by the glove. Rust swooping in on the attack. Slides it across. Comes up with the steal. Really nice play, but... That turnover shouldn't happen. They've got the lead a little safer with the puck. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. Puck sent over to Bugstad. And that's all she wrote on that one. Crosby's hat trick leads the way in this victory, Ray. Your thoughts on ice level? Goal scorers are supposed to score. He had opportunities and he did not miss tonight. And that's all she wrote on this one for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We'll see you next time here on EA Sports.